Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. Why am I in a squat position? Is that because this is an intro for my video, which is called Squat Talk. I have another channel called Squat Talk, but I'm bringing all the videos to my main channel, Strong with Raj. The basic idea is that I will make a video and speak to you guys in a squat position. And I'm hoping and requesting that you will also listen and watch the video in a squat position. There could be anywhere from two to four to maybe eight minutes. This will ensure that I am in a squat position on a regular basis, maybe daily. And also it can help you if you want to be able to go back to the roots and be comfortable in taking a position of squat. As you know, I'm big into strength training, big into back squats, deadlifts and other things. But this particular playlist is just about being able to be in a squat position like we always have been and maybe restart and recreate that habit that we've forgotten to be in a squat position. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to daily squat talk number six, where I will be talking to you in a squat position in the entire video. And I hope that you are also in squat position or at least trying to. So yesterday in daily squat talk five, I talked about flat foot theory and I was thinking about later on how it affects other movements, the same theory. So as some sort of analogy might just help you understand. So if you do push-ups, you always do your push-ups with palms flat. And if you do push-ups with only your fingers and thumb, you won't be able to do as much. You still have the same strength, but you're not able to transform or transfer the strength to the rest of the body. So flat, more surface, and hence more power transfer. Same thing with squat, flat foot, squat up, down. Anyway, that's about yesterday. So the topic today is my YouTube channel unique. I was thinking about it and I think it is. I have thought of this idea of having this channel for about a few months and I did enough research. And believe me, I do watch a lot of YouTube videos to find out whether that is unique or not. And uh, I think I'm unique for reason at least that uh, there are many YouTube influencers, uh, fitness guys, gym guys who are doing a great job and they have a lot of following. And, uh, but I wanted to be a bit different and provide a different point of view. And my point of view is that I will improve at something while I'm asking you to improve and also um, keep it simple and have a bit of a authenticity, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. I'm not here to try and sell you any products or give you any promises of six packs uh, or a muscular body or weight loss. None of that. It is just about achieving something simple in your daily life, which is sitting in a squat position, which has a ton and tons of uh, benefits. But I'm going to talk about them in later videos. But for now, it is all about being authentic and simple in my approach. I haven't seen many other fitness influencers doing this, so I thought, let me be the first one. I don't think there is anyone uh, who sits in a squat position doing a video. So that way, I think my channel is unique. And if you agree, just write yay. And if you disagree, just write nay in the comments. Um, having said that, I have came across quite a number of unique channels because as I said I did enough research and <laughs> some channels are just out there they are unique and also a little weird I came across a channel which is 90 or 90 hours of clock ticking <laughs> countdown it's face it's a thing called faceless channel so and there are quite a lot of views on that <laughs> it's clock ticking down for the first time I came across someone watching someone playing a video game that was really weird and unique to me. But I do believe gaming niche is very huge and uh, what a wonderful opportunity it is for gamers to showcase their gaming abilities. And at this point, I have come to realize that what an amazing platform YouTube is. 
not just YouTube, your Instagram, your TikTok and all other such platforms who have in a way uh, democratized the content creators platform. Going back in the days of traditional TVs and, and movies, let's say in early 90s, all what you had as a viewer is just movies, TV shows and news. And as you, a single individual who may not have much resources, could not express, them, express themselves at all. Think of that in, in early 90s, someone who is saying, oh, I'm going to squat, I'm going to go into squat position and talk to you every day. And it would be dismissed and people would laugh at it. But now it is possible. So thanks to YouTube and all other type of platforms that is out there, which makes it possible. As I said earlier, that it was Ivan Juric who, uh, who sort of inspired me. And I do believe his channel is very unique. He, uh, he showcases his lifts, his squats and his exercises every day and he posts every day and he's very authentic in his approach. There's no fluff at all. He just says it as he feels it. And by the way, I'm pretty sure, well, I only have one subscriber and one like and few comments and I think that is all him. So I'm really still waiting for more subscribers to subscribe to the channel and uh, to see if there is any value for them. So um, I have a timer running in a laptop behind the camera. It's almost uh, five minutes and I'm still very, very comfortable. And in the future videos, I will give you more tips as to how you can be in squat position for longer time and be comfortable. And of course, if you can't start in this position, there are many ways that I can tell you and show you how to start your journey. So my channel is still very, very new and I'm learning a lot. And I would appreciate if you could just show me some support, like the channel and subscribe and comment. So that was for it. I will see you for the next video tomorrow.